Hello everybody and welcome to Josh's Magic Plays Games. Today we are playing Two Point Hospital. So we are going to go through the scenarios. Um, we're going to do each one. Uh, so we're going to start off with obviously level one. Uh, and we're going to go through it all step by step. If we get to a bit where we need to wait for a bit of time, we will go into a little bit of a time lapse. Um, but yeah. Let's hit start new game, and we'll crack on. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. So, welcome to Two Point County. That's Albert Clark. This is Hogsport. And here is the first hospital. So, we're going to have to click on that to get started. So, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and cure some patients? Okay. Yeah, we're ready. So basically, the first thing that it's asking us to do is to learn how to use a camera. So we're rolling in, we're rolling out. We're going to use the WASD keys to move around. So now it is telling us to build a reception desk, and that's got to be built near the entrance. So we go down here to items, reception desk, and we're going to place it. Um, so we don't want it facing that way. We're going to hold the left button and give it a twist. To place it, click the left mouse button, and to cancel is obviously the right mouse button. So we're going to place it there. Now we need an uh, assistant to run reception. Okay. So we've got a few here, um, this one's got emotional intelligence, motivation and customer service skills, it's a three star, then we've got Logan which has got customer service skills, quite a lot of that, and motivation, yeah, uh, I think we're going to go for Logan, and the higher him and place him right there. So now what we need to do, we need to build a general practice. So we're going to go down here to the rooms button. GP office. And we're just going to click and drag that into the corner there. So you need to place the door, you need to place the desk gonna be better that way. Filing cabinet. What else can we get? We can get a weight machine. Guess if one of they would be in a GP's office. We need to get a bin. And we'll get a plant in there as well just to boost up happiness. Is that everything? Yeah, that'll be everything. Okay, so we need to click on the tick at the top, and there's that done. Now, we need a doctor, uh, so we go down to hire, click on doctors, and we're obviously going to choose the best one again. So you've got Felix, that's just got diagnosis. Uh, we've got this one here, which is, yeah, and diagnostic skills, and then we're going to have to get Milo, because it's got the GP 
uh, button there. So we're going to click on him, hire him, and place him inside. So great news, the hospital's now open. Fantastic. So it's going to tell us now that we've got to zoom in and out. So zoom in and out, you take the mouse button and use the wheel to zoom in and then back to zoom out. Rotate the camera, so hold down the middle button and lift left and right, there we go. And then to pitch is hold down the middle and then up and down. So now what we need to do, we need to diagnose our first patient. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne, bringing talk, music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just turn up that volume, because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy! So yeah, I was just letting him finish off a second. So we've diagnosed our first patient. Um, and we need to click on the bottom because there is an uh, email. So it says that we need to build a pharmacy. So we're not going to send the patient home. We're going to get the patient to wait here. So we need to go to rooms, click on pharmacy, and we're going to build a pharmacy. Uh, I think we should do it over this side to keep that nice and close to the entrance. Uh, so we're going to just place that in there. Uh, we've got a drug mixer and we're going to place that over here. Uh, a filing cabinet. Don't want to block the window. We're going to place that in just there. We need a bin. Keep it nice and tidy. And also a plant to keep up the happiness. Uh, click on the tick Now we need to get a nurse uh, So we need to go to hire Nurses Emma, no uh, We're going to go for this one here Because they do have the, the treatment And diagnosis So let's hire her And place that right in So what I'm going to quickly do, I'm just I'm just going to pause the game a second. Um, they're looking a bit uncomfortable, these people. Uh, so what we need to do is just get a few benches. And we're just going to place them next to the room so they can actually sit down and have a little bit of a rest. So we're going to place those two there. Uh, we can fit one over here. Yeah, we can only fit one in over this side. We're also going to place in a drinks machine as well. And a bin. And a plant just to keep everyone happy. And a leaflet stand as well so they don't get bored. Alright, so let's click out of items and we'll carry on playing. So they're mixing the drugs over there. Taking his medicine, been healed, fantastic, and we've cured our first patient. Fantastic. So by curing patients, it does make us level up a bit better with our hospital reputation. Now, we need janitors and maintenance. There are quite a few different types of janitors. We need to keep it nice and clean, obviously. Um, so, we're going to go into higher janitors. So, we've got these ones here that fix the machines. They upgrade stuff easy. One for happiness. Uh, and the maintenance of the actual fixing and stuff as well. So, we're going to get Mac. And he's going to get placed in as well. I don't know why we need him, but it's, it's not big enough yet. So we need to place two fire extinguishers. So back into rooms. And we're going to get one of these and place them inside 
the uh, general practitioners, and one of them inside the pharmacy. So it's important to keep the people and staff happy. Uh, patients will get bored, hungry, thirsty and everything. Uh, I've, I've already jumped the gun on this. Um, we just need to place a snack machine. That's good. So back into items. Done drinks, snack machine. Um, I haven't left anywhere to place that. Uh, so we are gonna just place it around here. Out the way. <laughs> Right, it says here, if you want to pick up an item, you click on it, hold it up, and then you can remove it. But we don't we don't want to be doing that. Uh, item controls. That's just going over stuff, so that's fine. Staff energy and breaks. So I'm guessing it's going to be asking us to make a staff room. Yes. So we need to go into rooms. Staff room. And we're not going to place it near the area just yet. Uh, we're going to move it out the way a bit. And the reason why we are going to do this is we don't really want the the patients to see the stuff like the staff going into the staff room and everything. We're going to place a few sofas, uh, an armchair, a retro chair, a nice TV. Gonna let them have their own drinks machine and their own snack machine. Is there anything else? What, bin. Cheeky little plant. Yeah, I think I'll be everything for them. Oh no. Click on the tick at the top. So that is done. So the staff will basically head to the staff room once they feel a little bit tired and less motivated and then yeah they'll they'll go in there get fully charged. We do have a little thing down here, a uh, new illness clamp discovered. Okay, so So with this illness they can go over to the pharmacy to get cured. We now need to build some toilets, so we need to go into rooms, toilets, and we're just going to place them over here. And the news today: conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting worse every day. Apparently, so we're going to put a few of those in. To die from sinkholes and crumbling ceilings as any a couple of sinks, a couple of hand dryers. Nice happy plant. We'll place the plant out here as well, actually, whilst we're doing it. And I think oh we'll get a fire extinguisher for an air. And we'll get one in for an error as well. And click on the tick. There we go. So we currently don't now have an assistant. He's gone on his break. So we're just gonna hire one quickly. So we're going to get you and place you in there. So we've now got a general diagnosis. So we're going to get one of these as well. And we're going to try and fit that in there. Perfect. So you got one of these easy scans. We've got an examination table. We'll get a weigh in thing as well. Violin cabinet. Gonna get a bin. Fire extinguisher. And a few plants. And there we go. So with general diagnosis you need a nurse. So we're gonna get another nurse whilst we're here. So we'll just get him there. Place him inside. And we'll get some more benches. So we are slowly building up our hospital.
So we just need to wait now until we've cured two patients. What's that down there? Is that a bit of rubbish? Is there a rubbish bin? There's a rubbish bin in there, the dirty doctor. So we've got a new illness, which is misery guts. So that will just get treated over in the pharmacy. We do have a few people waiting, so I'm going to build a new pharmacy. Just to speed up a bit of time. So we're just going to place that one in there. And get all the usual stuff. So we can now get a ward. Uh, we will get that in a moment. Wow, well, we've got loads of stuff going on now. So I'm just going to quickly pause the game. There we go. So we do need to build a ward. Um, so I'm going to get the ward in this corner over here. We're going to make it nice and big. Because um, wards generally have quite a lot of spe like beds and everything inside. So we need to get two of these screens. Just so more people can get in and out quicker. Um, we're going to place some beds. So we're going to have one there. One there. One there. And then we're going to do the same thing this side, but we're going to have it slightly staggered. Just going to get a few lockers. Uh, we need fire extinguisher. We have some plants. We'll have them in the middle actually, so they can all benefit from the happiness. And I'm going to throw in a jukebox. Because that should make everyone happy listening to music. So we're going to build that. And we are going to have a nurse for in there as well. So we're going to hire a member of staff. A new nurse. So we do have... Treatment and training. We don't need training. We're going to go with there. Place you in now. We do need another general diagnosis though. No, another GP's office, sorry. Um, so build a room. GP's office. And um, we're going to place... Uh, would that fit there without the thing? Yeah, we're going to place that just there. A nice small one this time. Going to place that over here. And we're just going to fill it with all the usual rubbish as well. So one of those. I'm going to put a bin in. Cheeky little plant. And a fire extinguisher. And we're going to sell the bench whilst we're there. And we need to hire a new doctor. So we're going to go for you right there. And place her inside. There we go. And whilst we still do have it on pause, we're going to get another bench. And we're going to get a few more benches for this side as well, just to make it all look all nice. There we go. And we're going to carry on playing. I do think we need a new doctor. I don't know where both these are going, so we're going to get one more doctor. There we go, we do have someone waiting. So we do need to reach 15,000, so we've got 8,740 remaining. So what we are going to do, we're going to go into a little time lapse whilst we're waiting. And we'll see you in a minute. So you join us back. We are looking into the ward. We do have £240 remaining before we do pass the level. 
What a smashing day for a bit of gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Digging up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait, the sewage pipes burst again. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. So we do now need to build one of these clinics down here. So we're gonna go into rooms. And we're gonna take that and we need to place that somewhere. We're gonna place it just down here. Hopefully it'll fit. Get a nice door in there. Place the main unit and the console in. Gonna get a bin, a plant, and a fire extinguisher in here. And we're gonna click on the tick. Now with this room, we do need a doctor. We do have enough doctors now, so we don't have to worry about getting another one. So we need to cure three patients with lightheadedness. So that's one of the patients down here. They basically have a light bulb for a head. Do have number two in. That's good. Once they do get seen, they'll come over here and we'll have a little look. So we're gonna follow, we're gonna follow you there because I'm guessing you're gonna be the first one to get cured. Just gonna have a look at this, that's fine. Patients are reminded to stay away from the light. So they do now have an appointment down at the bottom in our new clinic. So they're going to click on the door, click on the door, they're going to knock on the door, go in and we're going to have a little nice look at this procedure. That's probably going to hurt. They're going to 3D print a new head, collect it out of the printer and screw it back on. There we go. And we do have a patient cured. Huzzah! So we've got two more people to cure. So we've got one down here. And is there anyone else? No. So we're going to have to wait for someone else to come in as well. Before they get cured. We're going to have a quick look in the ward. So they are... Well, should be getting better. She's got bed face at the moment. Um, what's your problem? You need to go to general diagnosis, okay. That's the second one done. Fantastic. We've got one more person to cure. But overall, I do think our hospital is going down pretty well, to be honest. We are level five and the reputation is kind of high. So that's always good. We just need to cure one more patient. Don't put your health in the hands of a quack. Come to Bungle Meditech, where advanced techniques and experimental treatments could make you live forever. Bungle Meditech. Other hospitals offer leeches. Ours will leave you speechless. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. It's down here. This is our last patient that we need to cure with lightheadedness. Once it's done, we're going to complete this task. It's saying that we've got too many doctors, but at the moment, this this is a beginning level. We've got a lot of money, so it's fine. Oh no, we've failed a treatment of bed face. Um, that's that's going to be a problem. I just want to have a quick look at something. No. Ah. Okay, that's fine.
Can she get out of my hospital first? Is that possible? Please. Please. Yeah, that's good. Get out. There we go. Right, it, for some people that haven't seen this before, I'm not going to ruin what normally happens if a patient doesn't get cured. Um, it will happen eventually, and you'll find out what happens when it happens. There we go. Here's our last lightheadedness patient. place that on then we completed this task then we're a one star hospital no treatment failed that's upsetting I right so this this doctor here he was the one that just done this treatment and I'm, I'm gonna promote even though he shouldn't get promoted I want her out though how do I get her out <laughs> no so what's happened we do have our first patient that has died um, all thanks to that guy there so we do now have a ghost in our hospital um, so we need to get a new janitor we're gonna get Emily um, and Emily's gonna get out a dustbuster and suck the ghost away well done Emily I'm not happy about that. I only had the cheek to ask for a promotion straight after. So we're now waiting for another light bulb head. There we go. Just on cue. I, how do we uh, how do we find out if our our patients are happy not in finance here we go happiness yeah all our patients are currently happy that's that's good oh well, that they're not gonna be happy in a minute um do we have Yes, fantastic. That's good. Are uh, our doctors happy? And nurses and cleaners. We do have a lot of... We have more staff than patients at the moment. Ooh. Can you see, by putting these in the room, they do make the room a little bit brighter and nicer. That's why I try and put them in every room. Are we gonna... Are we... Are we... If you don't work, you better not ask for another promotion. Yes. Fantastic. So we are now a one-star hospital. I am going to leave it here for today. We, On the next episode, we are going to move on to trying to make us a two-star hospital. So it is it from me, Josh's Magic Plays Game. It's, if you do like what you've seen, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.